Good morning, folks. We've got no less than seven top items to hit today, including deep space mysteries and a relevant earthquake. You're watching that pitiful sunspot group depart after all its umbra decayed. Let's come to spaceweathernews.com now and find the last 24 hours on our star displaying the definition of sunspot minimum. We've got dark cores of coronal holes turning in, no eruptive activity on the sun, and back here at Earth, the solar wind has calmed considerably, allowing for low KP and the Cosmic Ray Health Advisory many of you got this morning through the Disaster Prediction app. You can see zoomed out here in 304 angstroms that even the limbs fail to present any major filaments set to turn in. All eruptive potential is very low. Meanwhile, the magnetic powerhouse of the IMF is strongly interacting with Earth via those coronal holes, likely began a bit over 24 hours ago and continues today as the openings take over the disk. The large quakes continued with a 6.2 striking Japan. Oddly, this one is felt more widely and more relevant to people's lives than the 7.9 off the Alaskan coast yesterday. Shake occurred at the south edge of our alert nearby and was felt over the entire northern half of the country. The IMF is what our quake alerts are based on from a timing perspective, and we have a new paper out detailing how the strength of that sun-to-planet magnetic connection has been underreported by half. It is much stronger of a cosmic connection than they believed. An amazing observation up next of Kuro 2b, the hot Jupiter allegedly tidally locked in a close orbit around its star. Well, they found the hot spot of the atmosphere just west of the tidally locked center, which is odd because winds normally blow that hot spot just east of the tidally locked center. They say it's either not actually locked and spinning slowly, which would violate their models of gravity on such planets, it could be the result of an uneven cloud distribution, which would violate their atmospheric models of such planets, or option C, my favorite. They say the magnetic field of the planet may be interacting with its local solar wind to strongly affect the weather. Hey, it works on Earth. Why not there? Up next, we're coming to the star Betelgeuse, a star with uneven light production. That's not a glare reflection. This is a star, remember. Part of the surface is much hotter and is now glowing white. The scientists also say that muffin top action bulging out of the left side is not an error. The star has actually become lopsided and is losing shape. Remember, this star is expected to go nova and forever change the Orion constellation at some point in the near future. Of course, near being in astronomical terms, not like it's expected tomorrow. Awesome article up next about massive ring-like features found in large, normally sparse space structures. They say that the only explanation for these cosmic rings is that there is magnetic supercriticality in those regions. Let's swing by Mars on our way back home as scientists have discovered that powerful dust storms can lift water vapor high into the atmosphere and help it escape into space via solar wind stripping. It is noteworthy that dust storms are also how surface ices get covered up and locked away underground, almost like the dust storm is a separator of the water, some is allowed to stay, and some chooses exile. We're back at Earth now where most of you know this already, but the confirmation from other scientists is always nice to see. That makes geothermal heating the cause of both Greenland's and Antarctica's western sheet ice melt, which makes sense because the atmosphere doesn't touch the melting underside. Quick look at fire danger today in the U.S. Pretty high in the center of the country. Caution is advised for relevant activities. For earthquake alerts, space weather alerts, and the only space weather health notifications on Earth, the Disaster Prediction app. We are days away from closing registration for our conference next month, the awake event of the year is set to be another Observer Fest. We've got your world of wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.